hello, hello, my name is Kim and welcome back to Bookmarks and Breadsticks. Welcome back to Bookmarks and Breadsticks. I have a quick break between meetings today at work, so I thought why not film my TBR for the book Buffet Readathon. If you haven't already heard, I'll link the announcement video below and in the cards. The month of August, the Ladies of Feasting Females are posting the book buffet. The goal of the book buffet is to encourage more of our friends in the booktube community to read nonfiction, culinary, and food writing books. And if you haven't already figured it out, that's what my channel is entirely about. So, so I have a list of seven books for my book buffet TBR, and I will go through each one and also reference here the bingo card. Remember, you don't have to black out the bingo board to be entered in a chance to win some of our prizes. One of those prizes, and the first book I'm going to add to my book buffet TBR, is World Travel and a Reverend Guide by Anthony Bourdain. This is Anthony Bourdain's final book. It was completed by his longtime assistant, Lori Wooliever. So this, if you get a bingo anywhere on the card, is the first or one of many prizes we'll be raffling off during our final wrap-up live show at the end of August. So World Travel will hit a couple of those prompts. This is a female author. This is set on a different continent. Well, it's a world travel book, so set on a different continent and published in 2021. And this would also hit the super broad scope because it is a guide essentially to multiple countries and how to eat there and navigate. Next up on the list is The Milk Lady of Bangalore, an unexpected adventure by Shoba Narian. First off, I saw the cover and I just love yellow books. I don't really know why. I just think it's a really pretty cover. So what is this book about, you ask? When Shoba Narayan returns to India with her husband and two daughters after many years in the US, the last thing she's expecting to see is a cow in the elevator of her modern apartment building. It is the housewarming ceremony, it is for the housewarming ceremony on the third floor, explains Sarala, the woman holding the cow with the rope. And now she begins an unlikely relationship with the woman with the cow. So this will hit the prompts of has female author, it was published in 2000 or earlier. Also, all of these are considered moderator recommendations since I am one and takes place on a different continent. Another new 2021 release is Radha and Jai's Recipe for Romance by Nisha Sharma. Again, I don't know how I got another yellow title. This is, I love the back of it because it's like a, a recipe card. Radha Radha and Jai's Recipe for Romance. You will need a, a classically trained Indian dancer determined to leave her past behind. Mix in the captain of a Bollywood dance team trying to balance family responsibilities and his own dreams. Season with Bollywood Beats, an old family recipe book, opinionated parents, forgotten passions, and new love. Bake until heart warmed. So, set on another continent, a fiction book a moderator recommendation and published in 2021. This just came out in July. A book prior to 2021 is a translated work and takes place on another continent is Oshinibo. Um, Oshinibo a la carte is the Americanized version of Oshinibo. So Oshinibo is an ongoing manga that is available in Japan and is still going to this day from Viz Signature. And the a la carte version is kind of like the best of the volumes and packaged for the American audience. I actually have all of the other books over here, all the other volumes, I should say. So I am going to try and keep reading through all of them. The back doesn't give too much away. With over 1 million, 100 million copies sold worldwide, Oshinibu, Oshino, 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 Oishinobo, Oishi, Oishi NBO is one of the best selling and most beloved manga of all time. Serious, yes, comical, exhaustively detailed, yet endlessly entertaining. Oishinobo is a fascinating, addictive journey through the world of cooking and food and culture. Um, this volume that I'm specifically going to read is Vegetables. So I am going to use this for has a movie adaptation, it actually does have a television show overseas. Translated work, 
and fiction and set on a different continent. I think BIPOC authors is probably the one I would need to check on. Um, this black indigenous. So diverse authors, we would give that to Nisha and Shoba. So I don't know if I hit 40%, which means I will add another book if I don't hit 40%. Um, but so far I've got three female authors. The manga is by a gentleman. And then I have Oishi, The History of Sushi by Eric C. Roth. This book just came out this year and this was sent to me by Rakuten Press and the University of Chicago Press. Thank you very much. And this is a new to you food. Now, do I know sushi? Yes. Do I eat it as a consumer? Yes. Could I tell you the different types and really know the history of sushi? Absolutely not. So I'm very excited to read this one. Next up is a book that is getting a movie adaptation. Eva Longoria has bought the rights to Richard Montanez's memoir, Flame and Hot, The Incredible True Story of One Man's Rise from Janitor to Top Executive. You haven't figured this out already. This is the story of the janitor who invented Flaming Hot Cheetos. This um, will have a movie adaptation and it would probably be, I guess, the micro history, since it's a micro history of a very specific item and it is nonfiction. I think I've literally hit every box on the bingo board at this point. Final book on the list is The Sugar Season, A Year in the Life of Maple Syrup and One Family's Quest for the Sweetest Harvest by Douglas Wynott. This is actually the book that will be in the fall read it and eat subscription box because the box is maple themed, you know, autumn maple. Um, so this is a new to you food in the sense like I think I remember tapping trees for sap when I was a kid to go make maple syrup but I honestly can't remember how maple syrup is made and it's one of the purest ingredients made in the United States too it's it's single ingredient well the pure stuff is um so I would consider this a micro history because it's specifically going to be about one family and it's a new to you food in the sense new to you like Kim wants to learn how it is made Okay, so I've actually hit every single item. Oh, before I forget, the group read is Anthony Bourdain's Kitchen Confidential, and that will check off that card on that on the bingo card. So I am rereading it that this, I am rereading that book this month with everyone as well. So right now my split is more, I have seven books and three of them are female. So three out of seven should, does three out of seven? So th so three out of seven books does hit the 40% mark for female authors. It's about 42%. And in terms of BIPOC voices, black, indigenous, people of color. So, ugh. so for the BIPOC 40%, we have Richard Montanez, who is from, I believe Mexico. I need to double check. He identifies as Latinos, so as part of the Latina community. So um, he is from somewhere, I believe, in South America. Shoba is from India. Nisha Sharma is Nisha Sharma is of Indian descent. Um, but it does says she lives in New Jersey, so I don't know if she was born in America or not. I don't really think that matters. And that gets me three out of seven books again. So three out of seven does hit the 40% for BIPOC. I am going to try and read other fiction books this month and maybe I'll specifically pick up some female authors. So three out of seven, wow, I can do math. Goodness gracious, I'm so sorry, everyone. Three out of seven of these books are BIPOC authors. That gets me to 42, gets me to 0.428. So if you make that into percentage, it's 42.8% of my reading. And four of the authors this month, besides the group read, so four out of the seven I've chosen for myself, are female writers. So I have hit all of the prompts on the card. Again, there's definitely other books I want to add. I really want to add Pickled, Potted, and Canned by Sue Shepard, which female writer, it's all about pickling and fermentation, but I'm kind of using it for another project for this channel. I also really want to get Lindsay Gardner's Why We Cook, which is an anthology, um, an anthology, a group of essays and interviews of, females, of female chefs within the space. So, uh, that would be, oh, the one I didn't hit is a new to you genre. That's actually the only thing I haven't hit on here. 
Um, I this is my comfort zone, so I have read everything in these subgenres. So unless I found a book of poetry, which I don't think I have, because um, I don't really read poetry, I don't really think I have anything to hit that square. I do have another translated work I want to read, which is Garlic, Mint, and Sweet Basil by Jean-Claude Izzo. And this is um, translated from French. So that's another short book. This is only, oh gosh, this is 100 pages. So I'm definitely going to add it because I want to read it. Um, but yeah, most of these books are actually 2021 20, publications. I have one, two, three, four. When did this translated work come out? 2013, so definitely prior to 2021. Twenty eighteen. This has been around forever. And the sugar season came out, I believe, in the early two thousands. Let's see. Twenty fourteen. So that is my list of books for the book buffet TBR. Honestly, anything I don't get to, you know I'm going to keep reading because my whole channel is about food writing and culinary nonfiction, but I am so excited for the Book Buffet Readathon. If you haven't already, make sure you follow myself and the other co-hosts. I'll have their YouTube channels linked below. Also, make sure you follow Book Buffet FF for Feasting Females on Instagram so you can see other recommendations and what else we're reading. I have a whole playlist here on my channel of recommended reading lists to help with some of these prompts. Obviously, I any book on this channel is a book, a recommended, a recommended book from the moderator. Um, and if you're looking for a buddy read, you know how to find me down in the comments below. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and make sure you follow me on Instagram at bookmarks and breadsticks so you can see what I'm reading and get my live reactions. I hope you're well. Let me know below if you're going to participate in the book buffet and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh.